Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I am washing blankets and washing sheets and changing sheets and the cats are chilling out with me. Daryl went over to his friend's house to work on some work for work and that's about it. So I wanted to stick my fork in my ice cream today but every time this is right out of the freezer the lid is so hard to get off that I have to get a towel and pry it off and so um, I went to open it and I was like dang it forget it because I just wasn't in the mood to wrestle with it so I put it back in the fridge which is good because that keeps me from eating it you know what I mean so as you can see I did not get dressed today I am just all natural and that's just the way it goes it's cloudy and gloomy outside. I knew it started out sunny this morning and then a few hours ago it, was, it just got cloudy and crappy. I'm so, so tired of January. Oh, I just cannot wait until spring and summer. I cannot wait and then I can go outside and go walking. I, I just love it and I just miss it. Hey little one, she's in my spot. I got my clothes that I'm getting rid of in this bag and I need to clean out some more stuff like I'm totally gonna get rid of this purse it's just I don't have an interest in it anymore I got it a couple years ago for Christmas and it's a Tegan yellow from QVC and it's gold and it's I just don't use it and the this part is leather but the rest of it is pleather and it's already starting to chip off and everything so and it's just been hanging here so I guess I'm just gonna get rid of it I don't know maybe I'll keep it I just don't know and I've gone through my sock drawer like a thousand times thinking oh I'm gonna get rid of socks and there's none I want to get rid of. So I have this whole drawer just full of socks and nasty old bras that are dumb. But I don't want to get rid of my socks because I think I'm going to wear them. I know I'm keeping on my novelty and holiday socks, but I just don't know. And then this drawer, I've cleaned out a billion times and this is my drawer that I put all my shorts in and so there's none in here that I want to get rid of. I like camouflage, can you tell? So I came across this picture. This was on my birthday about three, three or four years ago. I'm not quite sure. But this is at the restaurant we went to. It's called Kyoto. And I just, I love this picture, so I'm going to put it in a frame somewhere. But I was thinking about doing my hair blonde like this again. But it's such a pain when it grows out and you get dark roots, so I don't know. And especially nowadays when I'm not sure what the future holds with my parents. And I don't want to have like this huge three inch stripe down, the, down my scalp because I haven't dyed my hair because I haven't had time, you know what I mean? So I don't know, we'll see, but I just love this picture. Daryl is so cute. Okay everybody, I'm doing my roast. See, our friend gave us just this little roast. It's probably like a pound and a half. I don't know if you can see it in there. And so I just chopped up some potatoes and onions and carrots. I put a little bit of flour in like I was supposed to and then I sprinkled a packet of this onto it and I seasoned it a little bit with some onion salt and now it's going in the oven at 350 so I think it's supposed to be like an hour and a half or something like that so we'll see how it turns out you got a video of yourself? Are you nice to me? yeah <laughs> gotta vlog it? I gotta vlog
vlog what I'm doing, right? Right, people? Can I open that for you? Oh, I got it. I told you it's hard. I can open it real quick if you want. Right there. Oh! Here's a little bit of heaven right here. There's more crust throughout the middle, or if it's just. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's one on the edges. You can see it on the edges, though. Yeah. Down below. But it's good to have some in every bite. Yeah. But this stuff in the middle isn't going to have any. But it's still good. I'm just saying. Here's Daryl's. His is triple brownie. It's got, well, the ice cream's kind of chocolatey. It's kind of, yeah. tan. And it's got chocolate, fudge swirls, and there's brownie in there. And I guess that ice cream's a kind of chocolate ice cream. His is good, but mine's better. Here it is, everyone. I haven't opened the bag yet, but looks good. I should have made some gravy, but I don't. I forgot and I don't want to take the time, but I'm thinking there's not a lot of juice, so I should have made gravy, but that's all right. Yeah. This is a major fail. The pot roast came out hard and chewy. It's terrible. It's like I couldn't even cut it. <laughs> My arthritis is acting up already. Maybe it didn't need an hour and a half to cook. <sighs> Momo, I think Momo would like it. Mm. Momo, go it! You know, like shreddable type stuff. Huh? Uh, Potatoes are good. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. That's a big fatty piece. I'm about to unload all my toilet paper and put it under my sink. This is under my sink. Let me take this down. And I always stack my toilet paper in this corner here. Let's see if I can just set you down. Never mind. And then <clears throat> I always keep a couple rolls on the back of the toilet tank also. So that I never run out in the middle of a session. So under my sink I've got these drawers and I've had them for a really long time. They just keep my knickknacks and patty wax, like all my bobby pins and clips. And these aren't all of them. I should put all of my stuff in here, but then I take them out and end up putting them other places. These are those goody twist pins. They never worked for me at all. Not at all. And maybe I just don't have thick enough hair, but I would do my buns 
and they would just not work at all. And I watched YouTube videos and they just twisted them in and it seemed so awesome. So let's see what I got here. I got some perfume. <laughs> I don't even know where it's from. Or, but I got a whole bunch of elastics. I don't really use these kind anymore because there's no rubber on them to keep them in place. And they're not very tight. So they just slide out of my hair. I should just chuck them. What's that? Oh. Did, is this my brother's pin? I don't even know. He was in the Air Force once. Some seriously old, nasty tweezers. Oh, oh my gosh. This Camp Faux Finique is definitely Fini. It expired in 2010. Garbage! Ew, and this is a bunghole applicator for Preparation H. I never used it. I will. It'll be a cold day in hell before I put anything up my bum, ever. And if I ever have to, I will be sedated. In here, oh my gosh, I need to chuck all of this. This is an old Travel Mary Kay eye makeup remover. It's so old, uh, coagulated right there, that's garbage. These um, Everyday Minerals, they're just little samples. I, th I think I went to everydayminerals.com, but it's just um, mineral foundation and blush. This is a blush, and it's as white as a foundation. It's totally peach. Uh, yeah, these are all going bye-bye. All bye-bye. New car smell. That's a color of blush. I remembered, oh, soft touch. I don't know, I guess that's just a little tint for your face. Oh, and then this is Siesta. This was really pretty in this pot, but then when I ordered it, the actual full size, it was orange, like terracotta. And this actually looks at like a nice pinkish coral in this little pot. You can't tell. I mean, in real life, it's a lot more peach. This looks really pale. But when I got the real size, it was orange. It was nasty. So needless to say, I do not keep it. So yeah, I think I'll probably make a separate video on this and show you what's all in here. These are a bunch of really fun pigments that I got from a website. Yep, there we go. Oh, whatever but yeah one day I'll make a video of all of these swatches how's that that'll be fun and then this is a basket that I just keep right here it's got this is empty I'm chucking it let's see beach babe not your mother's texturizing this is brand new I've used it once or twice it doesn't do anything but dry out my hair I should just throw it away. It's brand spanking new. Brand spanking new loves baby soft. It smells good, but it's more musky than it was back in the day. And it fades and it, when it wears, it just smells really musky. I don't like it. This is nice. The lavender vanilla body lotion. I like that. This was a freebie. You know how you can always get a free little thing like this. I got this spring water dial body soap. And this is the French lavender and honey. It's okay. I'm keeping it just because it's okay. I'll probably spray it on in the summer or spring. And then here's my favorite powder. It's powder play. It's like a volumizing, texturizing powder. I really like it. This thing was like, what is it, 12 or $17? I don't know. And you get 0.53 ounces, but thing is, I don't use it all that often, and when I do, I just have to use a little bit, so it lasts a long time. And then these are just Dollar Tree trash bags. These 
are not that great. They're very thin. So I only use them in my little garbage can and I only use it for little stuff like this or tissue. But anything with sharp edges or whatever, you can just kiss this goodbye because it'll rip a hole in it. But it's good for just a little bathroom can for your tissues and Kleenexes and stuff like that. All right, so I'll stick that there. You know you love looking under my sink. I've got an extra flusher. I've got some jewelry cleaner. I love this. Even though it's for sterling silver, I still clean my gold jewelry in it and it's fine. It works great. But this will totally take the tarnish off anything. And then I just took this old toothbrush. You can just, you know, get them from the Dollar Tree or whatever. And I use it to brush the jewelry and clean it with the cleaner. So, And then I just keep it in a box in case it drips. Garbage cans or garbage bags for my big garbage can by my toilet. Good sense. You know what? I bought these and haven't used them yet. I got them at the Dollar Tree. I was going to use them after these are all gone. These I got at, Tar at Costco or Sam's Club. But... Um, Everybody says these are really good, and so I thought I would use them in my bathrooms rather than use my good, good stuff. So when you get 10, older absorbing, they have, they have perfume to them. So, and this is cat hair, by the way, and dirt. It's not pubes or anything like that. Don't be hating. Daryl just comes in. Are you in here yakking to yourself? <laughs> oh, she found her spot. Hey. It's hard. It's hard to maneuver this. So I'm eating these blueberries that I got the Dollar Tree. Cause my dinner wasn't enough because I didn't eat very much of it because it was gross. And they aren't that great as they were back in the 70s. They just don't have very much of a blueberry flavor. And even the marshmallows, like back in the 70s, they were little pellets. And now they're in shapes, which is fine, but I don't know. It's just not as good as it was back in the day. But is anything as good as it was back in the day? No. <laughs> Dang it. What is it? Okay, Momo's on the bed, but Lola's already here. Hi! You're here, aren't ya? Yes. I love you. How's my big girl? How's my big girl? Yes, I love you. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to my closet. I just took a bath. Well, no I didn't, I took a shower. I don't take baths. I take showers. I'm trying to fix this mess. This mess? Okay. Good enough. It's 9 o'clock and Daryl's asleep on the couch. He's been asleep for like two hours now. I've been watching Sister Wives trying to catch up and I was going to go walk on the treadmill and then I was like... So, I decided I'll do it tomorrow. I'll take today off. So, yeah, that's why I got in the shower. And here I am in my glory. So, I have my bag of clothes outside. Now they're in my room rather than in my closet. 
I am giving away a few more things. I'm sure I'll be filling it up with more stuff, but I just have some old headbands in here that I just, they hurt my ears. I can't wear them. I have a, an earring hanging off. But, um, oh, for heaven's sakes. They're just, it's so hard to find a headband that doesn't hurt right here after a while. And these just, they hurt. So I'm going to get rid of them. And then I have this pair of wooden earrings. <laughs> and I bought, oh, this one's hanging off the bracelet. I bought this bracelet to go with it. These are on clearance at <coughs> Kohl's, I think. But... In fact, oh my heck, this one's already getting ruined. It's like pulling apart. Let's see? The strings are, that never was like that before. So anyway, I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of these bracelets. I won these in Mary Kay, or I earned them in Mary Kay when I was in Mary Kay. I got this in 2005. I don't know, should I keep it? It's just one of those things. I've got so many things from Mary Kay that I don't wear, I don't use, and I don't want to hold on to them for sentimental reasons because I got too much stuff. I don't know. I don't know. And then I have this bracelet. It's just, I don't know. Kathy and I both got one. I don't remember where we got them. I don't. I never wear it. And then I just got a belt, and it's way too big, and it's just got one of those notch, you know. And it doesn't really. It's just I, I've never worn it once. I got it on clearance at Kohl's. Never wore it once, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So anyway, oh yeah, and I'm gonna get rid of this Mary Kay bag. I just. I've used it several times, but it's in my way all the time, and I just, it's not my favorite, so I'm going to get rid of that. So, let me put that in here. Anyway, I've just been kind of wanting to get rid of things. I'm going to get rid of these. I've worn them five or six times, but they hurt my, they give me blisters on the sides of my pinky, and it's just no use. I love them. They're from Target. They're super cute. I love them, but I just can't wear them. They hurt my feet, and I've held on to them for too long, so I'm going to get rid of those, and I'm going to get rid of a few other pairs, but anyway. Anyway, since I'm looking down at them, I got these boots, remember, at Buckle. I got them this past summer with my gift cards. I love them. They are so comfortable. They are super cute, and these are rubber, so you can't hear them. <laughs> I guess I forgot to take the price sticker off, but now it's like molded in there. But I love these. I love them. So since these are rubber, they don't clink around. They're awesome. They're not even real leather, but they totally look like real leather. These are nicely made. These don't look anything like the shoes at Target, you know, that try to look like leather suede, but you can kind of see the material. Yeah, you'd never know. I totally thought these were leather. But, yeah, so, anyway, I'm just looking around for things to talk about in my closet, I guess. The roast. I will never cook a roast in an oven bag again. That's really too bad. I was looking forward to it. It had good flavor. Everything had good flavor, but it I just didn't cook it right, I guess. I don't know. But I'm just glad I didn't pay for that roast. Our friend gave it to us. He like bought this huge roast at Costco, and so he gave us a little chunk. So anyway, all right. So that's why I had my blueberry cereal, because I was still hungry. I'm going to go now. Um, I hope you had a fun Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday, but I have to go to the Walmart and the Dollar Tree 
And maybe I'll hit the Old Navy since I'm there in that vicinity. I actually have Old Navy bucks to use. So I think I only have like $10 or something, but who knows. All right, well, I will see you tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me this weekend. And I just love you, and you know that. See you tomorrow. Have a nice sleepy. Good night, everybody. And if I ever have to, I will be sedated. <laughs>